I, along with Mrs. Raideep Gautam and Sardar Gurkar Pal Singh, we all are chemistry lecturers at Government Senior Secondary Smart School, PAU Ludhiana. So I'm here with the chemistry presentation, which is applicable to both. These topics are applicable to both 11th and 12th class. So let's start our topic. So here is a table of contents. As you can see, our first table is uh, the table contains molality, molarity, mass percentage, volume percentage, mole fraction, and PPM and PPB. Concentration. Concentration is the value that represents the amount of solute dissolved in the solvent. So concentrated solutions have a large amount of solute, while the dilute solutions have a small amount of solute with respect to the solvent. So as you all know that concentration can be measured with all these terms that is molarity, molality, mass percentage, volume percentage, mole fraction, PPM that is parts per million and PPB parts per billion. Molarity. Let's first discuss molarity. Molarity is the number of moles of solute per liter of the solution. Note here, it is per liter of solution. And it is denoted by the letter capital M. Capital M is equal to N by V, where N is the number of moles of solute, while V is the volume of the solution in liters. The unit of molality, uh, molarity are mole per liter. This is the most common way chemists measure the concentration. Here, let's discuss some problem on molarity. Practice problem one. What is the molarity of HCl if 28 gram of HCl is dissolved in 500 ml of solution? So as it is, you all can see the screen. The solution is very simple. Here, the mass is 28 gram that is given and molar mass of HCl. We all know it's 1 plus 35.5 one for hydrogen and 35.5 gram for chloride. And that comes out to be 36.5 gram per mole. And volume we are to convert to liters. We all know that can be done by dividing with 1000. Molarity formula, that is number of moles of solute dissolved per liter of solution. And we get the result that is 1.5 molar. Here is another problem on molarity. How many grams of sodium nitrate, that is NaNO3, are needed to make 2 liters of 0.1 molar solution? Molarity here is given that is 0.1 molar volume that should be 2 liter. So what we have is these two things and what we require what we need to calculate is the mass how many gram of sodium nitrate. So molar mass of sodium nitrate 85 gram per mole and we put all the things in the formula and what is we were left with what we don't know is mass of sodium nitrate so mass of sodium nitrate can be calculated by putting all other things answer is 17 grams here is another set of problem another type that is how it's made two molar solution of nsal that is one mole of nsal let's find out what is that that is 23 grams of sodium and 35.5 grams of chloride it comes out to be 58.5 gram of sodium chloride so one mole of sodium chloride contain 58.5 gram of sodium chloride so two moles of nacl how much mass will be there it will be multiplied by two 117 gram so very simple we will dissolve 117 grams in one liter of water to make it two molar nacl solution so let's come to the next topic, molality. Molality is the number of moles of solute per 1000 gram of solvent. Kindly note here, at molarity, it was a solution we were considering. And now here it's only the solvent. Plus there the solution was in liters and here the solvent is in kilogram. It's denoted by small m. Small m is equal to moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. And here the units are mole per kilogram. So 
सो प्रैक्टिस प्रॉब्लम ऑन मोलैलिटी सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड सोल्यूशन कंटेनिंग 571.4 ग्राम ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड पर लीटर ऑफ सोल्यूशन विच इज है डेंसिटी ऑफ वन ग्राम पर सेंटीमीटर क्यूब सो कैलकुलेट द मोलैलिटी ऑफ एच टू एस फोर इन दिस सोल्यूशन हेयर we will convert the units because our density is in 1.329 gram per centimeter cube so 1 liter contains 1000 ml and which is equivalent to 1000 centimeter cube so 1.329 gram per centimeter cube that comes out to be in grams is 1329 gram So one three two nine, that is one thousand three hundred twenty nine gram, is the mass of the entire solution. We are to subtract five hundred seventy one point four grams from it in order to take the mass of the solution. Finally, because number of moles of sulfuric acid, we will calculate from mass by molar mass. We all know sulfuric acid is ninety eight grams. and the answer comes out to be how many moles 5.83 moles molality of sulfuric acid is 5.83 moles per 0.7576 kg that comes out to be 7.69 molal so another problem on molality calculate the molality of a solution containing 16.5 g of naphthalene You know the formula C10H8 in 54.3 gram of benzene that is C6H6. Molality is mole of naphthalene per kilogram of benzene. So we put the values and we are ready with the answer that molality comes out to be 2.37. So here is a quick look on the. So let's have a quick look on the differences between molality and molality. Affected by the temperature, molality is not affected by the temperature. So which one is better? So molality is better than molarity. Symbol, you all know, capital M and small m. Units for molality is mole per kilogram, and for molarity is mole per liter. And Fourth point is for simple formula. So let's move ahead. Now we are ready with the mass percentage. Mass percentage in the same way as we take out the percentage of marks obtained by a student. That is the marks obtained in a, a total marks. Marks obtained divided by total marks into hundred. So same way, mass percentage is the mass of the solute divided by the mass of sol solution multiplied by hundred. It is out of hundred. So let's discuss the practice problem on mass percentage. What is the mass percentage of hydrogen in water? So hydrogen mass we all know one gram per mole, and oxygen mass is sixteen grams per mole. Here is the solution. We write the simple formula for mass percentage. Mass of one uh, one L of the element and mass of the total compound. In two hundred, mass percentage of hydrogen is we know mass percentage of hydrogen. We know the formula. There are two hydrogens, so two divided by eighteen in two hundred it comes out to be eleven point one one. Here is another problem on mass percentage. What is the mass percentage of caustic soda if 10 g of it is dissolved in 100 g of water? So everything is already given. We have to just put the things in the formula. Multiply by 100 that is the mass of solute total mass of compound multiply by 100 comes out to be 9.09. Here is volume percentage. Just in place of mass you have to write down the volume. Volume of solute divided by volume of solution into hundred. So, as you can see, we will discuss a practice problem on volume percentage. Determine the volume percentage of solution made by combining twenty-five mL of ethanol with enough water to produce two hundred mL of solution. So, what's given? 
the volume of solute that is 25 ml the volume of solution that is 200 ml substituting the values in the given formula we will get the result that is 12.5 percent practice problem another one on volume percentage a solution is prepared by dissolving 90 ml of hydrogen peroxide in enough water to make 3000 ml of solution identify the concentration of hydrogen peroxide solution Volume of solute here is 90 ml. Volume of solution is 3000 ml. Substituting the values in the given formula, we will get 3%. So let's move ahead. Whole fraction. As you all can see, the name suggests it's a fraction. It's a unitless quantity. Mole fraction represent the number of molecules of the particular component in a mixture divided by the total number of moles in the given mixture. Fraction of A is number of moles of A divided by number of moles of A plus number of moles of B. It is represented by chi, chi A and chi B and chi A plus chi B is 1. Let's have some problems discussion on mole fraction. Calculate the mole fraction of ethylene glycol in a solution containing 20% of ethylene glycol by mass in aqueous solution. So here's the word aqueous is there. Aqueous stands for water. The solution, the solvent is here is water. So we are given 20% of ethylene glycol and we are to find out the mole fraction. So we will take the molecular mass of ethylene glycol from the formula. It comes out to be 62. Molecular mass of water it comes out to be 18. Let us consider 100 gram of ethylene glycol solution. So the mass of solute will 20 and the solvent will be 100 minus 20 that is 80 grams. Putting the values in the formula we will get the number of moles total number of moles and we will get the mole fraction mole fraction formula is the same one for chi b it is nb by na plus nb and it comes out to be 0 0.0677 it's a unit less quantity another problem on mole fraction if the molecular mass of methanol is 39 and the molecular mass of water is 27 what is the mole fraction of methanol and water in the solution made by dissolving 4.1 gram of alcohol in 36 gram of water? Using our formula, moles is equal to weight in gram divided by molecular mass. We will calculate the moles of water and moles of methanol. And then we all know mole fraction of methanol and mole fraction of water. Last topic for today is PPM and PPB. PPM is parts per million and PPB is parts per billion. PPM is a unit used to describe very small concentration of a substance in a larger solution. PPM means 1 per every 10 to the power 6. And PPB is a term that expresses the number of units of the given substance that exist as a portion of the greater substance comprised of 1 billion parts. Here is a practice problem on PPM. A sample of 300 gram of drinking water is found to contain 38 milligram of lead. What is the concentration in parts per million? We will have the mass 300 grams. We have the concentration of PB 38 milligram converting the mass of drinking water also to milligram. The quantities should be same. The units should be same. So converting that into milligrams, we will get this value. As you all can see, we will put it in the concentration of PB. Okay, putting in the formula, we get the answer parts per million, 126 by 0.7 ppm. Another problem on PPB. Find the concentration in PPB of the solution in which 9.6 into 10 is per minus 6 gram of NaCl has been dissolved, making the solution with a volume 2 liter. So, putting the values again, simple formula here, but the difference in PPM and PPB is here. That is, there it is 10 raised to power 6 and here it's 10 raised to power 9. And we will get the answer. 
So here, the units of parts per million or parts per billion are often used to describe the concentration of solutes in a very dilute solution. The units are defined as the number of grams of solute per million or per billion gram of solvent. So here is a table. If the concentration is given in percentage, ppm, etc., and we have to change unit, then this table can be of immense help. And here are the units that is milli, micro, nano and pico. Milli stands for 10 raised to power minus 3, micro for 10 raised to power minus 6, nano 10 raised to power minus 9 and pico 10 raised to power minus 12.